This is a short video displaying the Clements 70 inch reflector, the largest amateur telescope in the world in its building. Of course, this is free for the public to come out and enjoy. This is at Stansbury Park, Utah, part of the Stansbury Park Observatory Complex uh, run by the Salt Lake Astronomical Society. So let's take a tour. The telescope is stowed right now. It's uh, st uh, the, still a little bit early for the season. We will have, of course, uh, public observing when the season starts. Feel free to uh, go to SLAS, S-L-A-S dot U-S for updated information. The telescope is shown in its stowed position. Here's the back of the telescope. That is where the mirror, the mirror is inside the covering. The telescope sits on a on a wooden pallet and is pulled out onto the observing pad by way of this pallet jack. Yes, it's moved by hand. You can see the custom made pallet on which the telescope sits. Once the telescope is pulled out, the pallet jack is removed and the telescope is ready to observe. I know it's difficult to get a grasp of you know what's going on here because the structures of the telescope tend to blend in with the roof uh, rafters. But anyway, like I said, I'm just intending to give you just, just a brief, a brief uh, walk around here. These white tubes, that's, those are sight tubes. That's actually how the telescope is aimed. It's rough aimed. When you look through the tubes and then you pull on the handles, you aim the telescope. Yes, this telescope is aimed entirely by hand. And then once the object that you're looking for is acquired, it's then centered in the C8 finder scope, which if the C8 finder scope is centered on the main optical axis of the, of the 70 inch telescope, the object will be centered when you go to look through the big telescope. Let me show you where you look through, through the big telescope. This, is the focuser assembly and what they call the eyepiece. I'm going to remove the cover right now. This is where you actually look through the telescope. Now keep in mind the telescope is tilted downward right now. That's why it's so low to the ground. In typical use, the telescope is obviously higher up. This focuser assembly then sees the light which bounces or I should say reflects off. This is a secondary mirror uh, 29 inches in diameter. It's a flat. Now realize it's covered right now. That's a, that's an aluminum foil cover. Here is where the primary mirror, primary mirror sits behind that gold cover. Okay. That's covered of course now because of the season. When the season is open, that of course is open displaying the primary mirror. Down here is the drive system. This, uh, this is sidereal technology designed by Dan Gray. And this system tracks the object that you acquire through the telescope. Once it's aimed by hand, the clutches are engaged, meaning that the telescope is now following the stars. Here is what's referred to as the altitude, that is up and down motor. Here is the azimuth, that is side to side motor. These motors engage shafts which run on a circular base. I guess you could call it a turntable. Well, that's about all I want to show you for today. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. I welcome and encourage any sort of involvement. Thank you.